Monash University is leading a collaboration to develop online learning resources in a virtual world. We have forged a new model of student learning, a shared model of practice which brings together the expertise of many institutions. Journey with us to the island of Pharmatopia. Here at Monash we faced a real problem. Increasing student numbers meant that our tableting classes became unsustainable. There wasn't enough equipment for them all to do the prac, they weren't allowed to touch the machines they could only watch, and they couldn't use real drugs in the tablets. And it was also a timetabling nightmare, so we thought, can we create a virtual world in which we can do this lab? The island of Pharmatopia consists of four zones. A manufacturing zone, a clinical zone, a community zone, and an industrial zone. The Pharmatopia team have already created several projects on the island, and more are in development. This is where a student chooses the ingredients that they're going to make their tablet from. They come over to the mixer and they mix them. It's fully 3D, so you can zoom in and zoom out and have a look around the back. We've got the tablet presses here, so again, these operate just like real tablet presses do. In the last room, we've got the quality control testing equipment, and these are the standard tests that companies and universities do whenever you make tablets. Ian Larson introduced us to this weird, wonderful world of Pharmatopia a few years ago. The Pharmatopia team soon came along, and then the Pharmatopia team has now taken this internationally. Pharmatopia is built on a shared practice model. Each member builds a teaching module on the virtual world and then shares it with others. It's about building better pharmacy education through innovation and international collaboration. Well, it was a really great opportunity for the University of Queensland to be part of an international collaboration that was doing some really leading edge things in terms of pharmacy education, so we were really excited to be on board. The University of Nottingham were instantly attracted to the Pharmatopia project because of one key reason, and that is the education of our students in environments that they just couldn't get access to in the normal facilities that were available at the university, and yet is really underpinning and essential to their education. When we saw the tableting suite and what that could achieve, we realised that pharmaceutical analysis would lend itself so well to embedding into a virtual environment such as on the Pharmatopia island. Academic staff required an interface that would allow them to develop educational exercises for students in the virtual world, so we created a learning management system. As students work through the exercises, the learning management system captures their response and then reports on it. The ability to interact through a very simple web-based system to put really fresh, up-to-date and very quickly changeable content onto this platform is going to be a real game-changer you can create almost anything that you want as a teaching material. It's limited only by your imagination. It was difficult to provide authentic sterile clean room experiences for our students. We decided to create lifelike experiences on Pharmatopia, where principles and practices of sterile processing could be taught in a very realistic environment. The University of Queensland's contribution to Pharmatopia is a virtual compounding dispensary. Having an online or a virtual world that can simulate those real life laboratory experiences is really attractive to us gives the students plenty of opportunities to practice their calculations without using real life reagents. So there's not the waste and the chemicals. They can do the problems as many times as they like, receive immediate feedback on how they're going, and they can work at their own pace, in their own time, and it doesn't require an instructor to be involved. The hospital, named Asclepia, is located in the clinical zone. This project is about pharmacy and medical students interacting with each other and a virtual patient in a virtual world. The students learn the interprofessional skills that they will use in professional practice. The University of Nottingham's contribution to the Pharmatopia Island is based around pharmaceutical analysis and in the short term our first inroads have been the development of a mass spectrometry laboratory which aren't available for use by students under normal teaching conditions because these pieces of equipment are just so expensive. It does have appeal. It has appeal to current generations who are very familiar with technology, very familiar with social media and games platforms. It's sort of nice to just to see that Monash are trying new things just to try and help us learn in all as many different ways as they can. Talking to friends from other unis or other courses and I was like oh we did a prac on a virtual world the other day and they're like what? How is that possible? It really makes you feel like you're really on the forefront learning the best there is to learn. With its ability to educate personnel across many sites around the world, Pharmatopia is an ideal instructional platform. Pharmaceutical companies can have people in China or India or Puerto Rico or England that all tap into the same place, undertake the same activity, 
and have the same learning from it. So they can make sure that everyone in their organisation has the same level of knowledge with regards to tablets, tablet processes, operating machines, understanding the inactive ingredients. In addition to the opportunities for collaboration, Pharmatopia has also presented some challenges. I think the biggest challenge for Pharmatopia has been ensuring that projects that are developed are based on principles of active learning. It's easy in a virtual world to build projects that are observational or very static. Building the sound educational principles has been the real challenge and, and I think one that we've really mastered now. When I think back where we started from with this project and where we've got to now and where we intend to go with it, it blows our minds, it really does.